Hey guys, this is Jamie again out at Seven Sands Farm. Today's video is a little different. It's not about the animals on the farm, but it's about some of the equipment we have. And I really hate to tell you how I figured this out, but coming home the other day after having some tires put on my trailer, uh, they were dry rotted. I just bought this, uh, this kind of homemade livestock trailer to use here on the farm as we grow. So I had to do a few things to it. It had an inch and seven eighths uh, receiver on it. So I put a two inch receiver on it because everything I have here is, uh, I use a two inch ball for. So that was really aggravating to have an inch and seven eighths. So I had a new uh, receiver welded on it and put a new uh, jack on it because the old jack on it wasn't working. Everything was going great. Went and had some more tires put on it actually uh, put a nice 10 ply set of used tires on it because we're just going to use it one or two times a month and around here on the farm so that worked out well so i was coming home the other day from having the tires put on and my trailer actually jumped off the ball i had a pin through the actual hitch and everything to hold it on there like i was supposed to but with the with the hitch latched it still jumped off the ball and until i came home and done some um actual investigation or some research on it i didn't know that you should adjust the hitch to the ball as well so i've learned something so hopefully me learning the hard way will help you out a little bit you won't have that problem luckily for me i live on a pretty rural area rural road not much traffic so my chain stopped it i didn't tear my truck up i didn't mess the trailer up so everything's going to be fine but let's show you how to fix that now. So mine, I'll need a three quarter inch uh, open end wrench for this project. And I've took the ball, the receiver out of my hitch to see how it fits. Of course, it's easy to get it in there, really easy to latch. And you can see it's loose enough that it actually was pushed out with a latch. So I'm not tied at all. So let's work on that now and fix that problem. I'm gonna try to hold you guys under here so that you can see the nut and uh, how to fix yours. Yours may look a little different than mine. There's a nut under there that you can tighten or loosen to adjust the tension on the ball from your hitch. So trying to keep the sun out. You can see we can push this as you can see, we can push this latch up and it exposes this uh, nut here. On mine, it's three quarter inches. Uh, my nut is three quarter inch nut, so I'm taking an open end wrench and I'm going to tighten a few rounds. Now, we don't want to tighten so much that we can't get our hitch on there. all right okay so we made several turns on that probably did four or five turns next thing we need to do the next thing we need to do is to check out and see if we can still get our hitch in there you don't want to over tighten it so that you can't even get the hitch in but you want to make sure it's snug and i'll show you how we're going to check that after we get finished So it's still real easy to get in, so I'm gonna tighten it up a little bit because I definitely don't want the trailer coming off again. That was not a pleasant experience. Okay, so now I can't actually latch 
the latch on top of the trailer so it's obvious I have it too tight for the hitch so we're getting close so I'm gonna back it off a couple of rounds and see if we can get that straightened out so we were too tight now we'll loosen it a little all right we'll just keep adjusting all right so now uh that was easy to latch and it did latch and went in fairly easy i think i'm going to tighten half around up and make sure so another half around. all right again that's really nice you can see it's holding the hitch out even i was able to latch it and it's still able to fall out pretty good just as a test we'll go another half around uh, that latched I think I'm gonna leave it there. We'll actually put the receiver. Now after playing with it, I've got it on there. It's really kind of tight to, to latch and unlatch. But I think when I put it on the receiver, I can always loosen it a little bit if it's hard to get on the truck. So let's do that now. Let's hook the truck to the trailer and see how that works out this is definitely something that you're going to have to do some tweaking with some adjusting with it may take you 10 or 15 minutes to get it right it's not that hard of a project it's just a little tedious so let me tell you seeing that trailer fishtail in my rear view mirror and that excitement and pounding in my heart it's worth 15 minutes or 20 minutes even to get this right so that that does not happen again because I definitely never want to experience that again. So let's back the truck up now and get it hooked up to the trailer and see how it looks, see how easy it goes on and see if we've got it fixed.
right, we're hooked up there. I think that's as tight as we need to be. Still have a little bit of, as you can see, so as you can see, we're moving the truck, the hitch, the trailer, all bouncing together. So everything should be good now. We've got an adjustment. It's pretty tight to latch. It's not really loose. It drops on pretty well. Um, I think we're in good shape now. I feel much better about leaving out and towing the trailer now. Like I say, I never knew that you even had to do anything like that. I just assumed that they all came latched or all came adjusted appropriately. But guess what, they don't. So uh, take a second, check yours out, especially if you get a new trailer, make sure they latch good. As always guys, we'll do it all again tomorrow. Hopefully I won't be losing a trailer and have to do this again tomorrow.